In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create some shock style text. So to start us off, what we're going to do is come over to our text tool and select that and then go up and select your font. I'm just going to be using impact today because it's a nice, bold, thick font. And then I'm just going to be uh, using an, a large, uh, large size. So I just put it on 85 and then just type whatever you want. But first, let's put it into white. So just all F's is white. And I'm just going to say SHOCK in all caps, you guys can see it. I'm just going to create a new layer so you can see this white on this transparent background. It's kind of hard to see so I'm just going to put this as black. Alright, so make sure you go back to your, uh, your SHOCK text. And then uh, create, well first uh, right click and then do rasterize type. And then uh, create two copies of this and then just turn both of those off. So now what you're going to want to do is make sure you're back on that original copy. And then we're going to go to image, then we're going to go to can rotate canvas, and then 90, deg 90 degrees clockwise. So basically I just turned it uh, 90 degrees clockwise. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, so now we have our shock text uh, turned sideways. And so to start making our actual effect, we're going to go to filter, then stylize, then wind and make sure that this is uh, on under method it's selected on wind and uh, just click on from the from the right so just click OK and then you can already see it started to show the wind and then do filter and you can just go down and it remembers what you used last so just click this and do it again from the right so now what we're going to do is go to filter stylize wind and then do the opposite and go to the left and then I'm just going to apply that again. Now go to image, then rotate canvas, and then clockwise uh, 90 degrees. So it's turned back normal. Now what we're going to do is go and do filter wind again, just so that it has already saved that, uh, that from before. So I'm just going to apply that. And then I'm going to go to filter stylize wind, and then from the right again. And I'm just going to do one on each side there um, because I don't want it to be like shooting all over here because it'll look pretty weird. Um, so now that you have that, you can go to, actually we don't need two copies here. Let's just delete one of these. And you can actually turn this back on, um, this next layer, and you can't really tell a the difference there. Uh, maybe a small one. And you can come to actually select this by holding control and then clicking this little square here and that selects the outline of each of the letters. So what you're going to do now is go to select, modify, and then contract. And I'm just going to contract it by two pixels. You can do three or one or whatever you want, uh, but two seems to work fine for this. Um, so as you can see it's just pulled it in. And then you go to edit and fill. And if it's not already on color, uh, just go to color and it'll let you select one and I just have it on black which is uh, six zeros. So just click OK and OK again and you can see that it has filled it, your text with the color. You can fill it with any color by the way, I'm just using black. Um, now I'm going to actually add some color to our, uh, our shocking effect here. So just go back to your original layer and go to image, adjustments, and then hue and saturation. And I'm just going to go to colorize Make sure you click that or else you can't really change the color. And I'm just going to drag the lightness down here. It's a nice green. And how about that blue? That looks pretty good. So now you can see that you have a uh, nice shock effect. And uh, what I want you guys to do is subscribe, rate, and comment. And if you try this yourself and make a video, uh, please put it as a video response to mine. Um, I'll see you next week. Thanks.